Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Just before sunrise, I'm here at Rockport Beach, up at the channel, looking over at the island of Key Allegro. We're getting some pretty good colors. It's already 74 degrees. <laughs> Lots of red and blacks in the water. It's a special time of the day. People taking the boat out, do a little fishing. A little rough out in that bay for me today, but stay safe. Just notice these dolphins swimming over here. This is where I've been seeing them in Little Bay lately. And when they chase the fish into the shallow water, there's a whole lot of splashing going on. I'm going to cook up some grub and we are fighting the wind today. I got my dehydrated eggs. I got some uh, corned beef hash. And uh, that's all we need. We'll got some water, got some spray pan, and uh, got some spices that I'll add to it. I'll give it a taste first and then add these. Not only are these good, they're my two biggest, so I'm working to, uh, to get rid of them. <laughs> I did not know this corned beef was this soupy, so I am adding the dehydrated eggs directly to it and maybe that will take up some of that extra juice and this came out really good you can't see the eggs but you can taste them when you eat it kevin i got a joke from todd why didn't i recognize the seagull because he was in disguise disguise you know, for a laughing seagull, he doesn't really have much of a sense of humor. So I saw this custom van here at Rockport Beach. Very cool and unique design. Pittsburgh Steelers. And I was thinking they might be Pennsylvania. But when I checked the tag, they're from Texas. And on the uh, other side, they're covering the Dallas Cowboys. So... I guess they're just keeping all their bases covered, but really cool. I received a card in the mail from my buddy Marshall up in Nebraska. <laughs> we got your back. Nice. Very nice. Marshall's a good guy. He leaves really nice comments. So, uh, yeah, I've got stuff in it. Stuff in it. We've got, oh, we've got your back. <laughs> Whether days are up or down, or who knows what direction, we're always in your corner, like a little cheering section. <laughs> After buying this card at the dollar store, I realize you probably have several of these already. Um, I get a lot of dog cards, Marshall, and I certainly don't mind getting another one. So that one does look familiar. I don't remember if it was sent to me or if I've seen it at the dollar store myself but it it's it's a good one it's a good one I, I think one year christmas i was opening up a bunch of cards and there were three in a row that were the exact same card so uh and marshall put a gift in here a very generous walmart gift card so thank you marshall how, how, do, how do you know i i go to walmart just because i sleep there six out of seven nights a week <laughs> and there's a note uh, hello, Dennis. Hope your day is going well. Just sending a little support to let you know I like your videos. Thank you, Marshall. I'm familiar with the area down there. There are two kinds of palm trees. Green ones and brown ones. I don't even have to look up jokes anymore. <laughs> the laugh is 95% of the joke. Oh, like the dad button. 
but it's still funny. Looking forward to more videos, but take care of yourself first. Another 62-year-old anonymous white guy, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you for the card and the uh, note and uh, the gift card, buddy. It's, uh, it's very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Got to wait for the goat to finish before I cut the video off. No Luciano today. He doesn't come over here consistently like he used to. Used to be every morning that it wasn't poor rainy, he would be over here. And it is Sunday, so I know they like for him to come into the church for service or not be hanging out by the front door. And I checked a couple other spots for him already. Ooh, gentleman waved to me and he's got a dog. I have to keep an eye out for him. Looks like they're having a meeting this morning. And they didn't even invite us. And others are joining the party and coming and going. Wow, look, wow. Must be some good eats down there. I believe this is a blue heron. Not a great blue heron like Eugene. And there's three of them in this area. I don't know if I can get them. One kind of just went around the corner here, but there's one over there. There he goes, he just peeked his head out. He's got company. He got a buddy. There come more friends. Don't you hate when you just want to be alone and people want to come hang out with you? <laughs> it's weird not to see cars parked at rock bottom, but then again, it is 7.55 on a Sunday morning when I'm filling this, so maybe it's a little early. I bet you we come back at 11 and it's full. There's a boil house. I've eaten there twice and gotten really good food and service. Nice little breeze. Give us some nice wave noises. Seagulls are going crazy, mating season. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be sitting there and then I'll just notice how loud they really are it's just like a constant noise it's like the waves after a while you don't even notice it and if we pan up a little bit cloud cover has moved in no rain in the forecast but warm air 73 degrees already and uh Water temperatures are a little cooler when we get that fog. I think we're going to get that fog overcast weather for a few days. But if you got a stamp, there's your postcard. Well, picnic, wine, culinary market, and deli has some cars out in front of it, so that's good. People coming out, they look happy. I don't know what is out there at the end of the pier, but it's what I like to call porta potty blue. <laughs> Looks like a tarp, like a little windbreak or something. I feel like we haven't heard from the dad joke calendar that my buddy Todd sent in a while. How do the lawyers say goodbye? Sue you later. <laughs> Sue you later. 
Why aren't there people out here drinking coffee? Just listening to the water. Speaking of coffee, I might need to go get some coffee today. I'm gonna head to uh, Portland, Texas in a little bit. Need to uh, pick up some pick up some drugs. Well, guys, I hope Monday treats you right. There's a squadron of pelicans out there. Isn't that cool? Squadron. I love that. It's a uh, it's kind of like a gaggle. That whole island, that whole little island out there in Little Bay is filled with um, rosette spoonbills and pelicans. And... and that's about it that I know of. I would imagine there's some seagulls out there. There could be something else that I'm missing. Hard to believe a guy that lives in his truck doesn't know everything about everything, huh? <laughs> I think we're just in for another overcast day, guys. And I am going to go to Portland. If I see something cool along the way, maybe swing over to Corpus. Give that a view. One of the boys wants me to come to the restaurant he works at. And guess what? It's got a drive through so I just might do it. <laughs> Thanks for riding along today, guys. I appreciate y'all. Backing up to get his boat. Thanks for watching.